Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. This is for the element of air. So if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of March 22nd through the 24th, um, 2024. <clears throat> so thank you guys for your support. Keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're looking for your uh, sun, moon, or rising sign, those are now on Patreon. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Five of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Hierophant. The Hanged Man. Judgment. Nine of Wands. And Ten of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Kind of feels like you guys are dealing with a lot of heavy emotions. Uh, a lot of thoughts. Um, I don't know. I feel that something has you stuck. And I feel like you're focusing too much on uh, things that maybe you can't change. I just feel like you're hurting. Like something is making you cry. Something hurts. I, I kind of feel like you're hurting your own feelings though. I mean, it could be, it could be that someone else is saying something or does something that affects you really easily. Um, but I don't know. I kind of feel like you're hurting your own feelings. Um, you might find yourself in victim mode and wanting someone to see you and rescue you and just kind of like take you away from everything that's going wrong in your life, all these problems, you know, I feel like there's so much going on and you just feel helpless in a sea of problems. Like you don't know what else to do. Um, this could be the energies that you've been going through. It also could be energy that is around you if you really just don't feel like this is you could be somebody around you that's just kind of like suffering mm. i kind of feel too like somebody is having regrets about a tattoo or feeling like they shouldn't have got this tattoo hmm Somebody also might be seriously considering um, therapy, um, feeling like, okay, maybe it's time that I go see uh, a therapist, or maybe I need to check myself into the hospital. Um, somebody might start to feel like maybe something is becoming too much or overwhelming or like they need some um, uh, medical attention for something. Um, you also, maybe this is part of your environment, your job environment. Maybe you work in a hospital around a lot of people who are sad or suffering, um, around suicidal thoughts. Um, and please keep in mind if this is you or even for anybody else, there is a number to call, so just check in the description box below for that. But um, it does seem like maybe someone is having like a lot of uh, thoughts or having to think outside of the box. Now, you also might be dealing with um, challenges in regards to your spirituality or religion, maybe you're starting to question things or you're on a fence about certain things that have been revealed to you. Um, I feel like you want answers. Um, 
you might find yourself looking for knowledge, um, looking at advisors or going through uh, books of knowledge, something in regards to like stored knowledge, like you're trying to find answers to. It could be to that, like I said, you are uh, the authoritative figure and people are coming to you with their thoughts that are painful. You might be having serious thought about your profession, your career, like maybe you feel stuck and you don't know how to get out of something that you've committed to. You're like, I committed to this, but now how do I get out of it? Um, I don't know. It could be a relationship. Maybe you got engaged or you asked somebody to marry you or you said yes, but now you're just like, I committed to this, now what? I don't know what I did. Hmm. Spiritually, I feel that you're being like initiated into some sort of higher knowledge and with that knowledge does come responsibility. It's like, okay, now that I've told you, it's almost like somebody tells you and then says, but don't, don't tell anybody or else they'll die, you know, or something like that. You're like, well, why did you tell me? Like, you know, it's like, because you were ready to know, to know this, but now use it wisely, use this knowledge wisely. Um, so now you're just kind of like trying to figure out what to do with this higher knowledge that you have now. You have to keep something to yourself. Mm. I don't know. I almost feel too like somebody is thinking about things like, thinking about like taking some sort of oath, um, like becoming a monk, priest, um, abstinence or celibacy like something's going on where it does just seem like maybe someone is taking some sort of vow you also might be coming to some sort of realization um about uh yourself and you know who you are spiritually It seems like there's something that you might want to know, but you feel stuck. And I feel like it's time for you to explore other avenues, other ideas, uh, so that you can become unstuck. I'm also getting that you might need to surrender to something. Maybe you're learning surrenderance. Hmm. I feel like you're also needing to maybe practice some form of meditation or breathing. Somebody's holding their breath. Somebody's holding something in. I feel like somebody needs to exhale. Hmm. You might become enlightened with some, some kind of knowledge. It's, it's something that you're coming uh, to the realization of. It also almost seems like maybe you're being tested or like quizzed on something. You've been in this position before, maybe you just forgot or last time it happened in a different way. And so whatever, whatever lesson you learned from that 
from the past. You said you were going to remember next time or you weren't going to do this next time. So I kind of feel like you're being put in a position where it was like, remember what you said you would do next time this happened or remember blah, blah, blah. And you're being asked to kind of like remember to apply some sort of stored knowledge that you have. You already stored this knowledge within somewhere. Um, hmm. Something has to do with you being afraid or fearing the worst. Kind of feels like you're wondering if you can handle something. You're like, oh, I went through this before. Like, this is hard or this is, you know, it, it does indicate that you made it out or you made it through uh, the last time something happened. Um, but it's like, here it is again. Um, I feel like you need to be, you need to remember your strength. You need to remember how strong you are. And you need to know how capable you are. You can handle something that's getting ready to happen. Maybe someone's getting ready to come into your life. And you need to be ready for it. But it's like you didn't want to deal with this. Because you, you went through something before. And you're like, oh, this person seems like they're going to have the same type of baggage. Or the same type of issues. I don't, I don't want to deal with that. And it's just like, well, it's coming. So kind of like get ready. And it doesn't even have to be love related. Maybe, you know, a family member is coming to live with you. Or a friend is coming uh, into your life that and you know that they have like this baggage or something but something's getting ready to happen where it is almost like you're like not again like uh not this again mm. in regards to like something dealing with government Something does seem like being called back to war or called back to fight. And it seems like government related. Um, so maybe someone is being called back in for something. Mm. Career wise, something's going on where it could be that you're being called back into work, um, especially if that's something that you really just did not want to do, or maybe you've been um, working on your own, or you know, just something. And now it's like you've got to go back in uh, and answer to people, and you're like, "Ugh, I don't want to do this again." Either way, it seems like there is some responsibility. Like you're getting ready to have to carry on some sort of responsibility. Uh, or somebody else's weight. If you are getting promoted, it's, it's kind of like the same energy. Like you're promoted, but that also now means that you have to take on all these other responsibilities. Relationship wise, definitely looks like somebody is getting cold feet. Like they're not sure that they're ready for responsibility. Or if it's like somebody is approaching you knowing that you're not about just fun and games. And they're like, okay, if I come to this person, I know they're going to want commitment. So I need to be ready for that. And so somebody might be trying to brace themselves to enter your life because they know that you're not about like fun and games. Mm.
Okay, I'm just getting again that you're learning something. You're learning something maybe about yourself or learning something about the role that you're meant to play here. I also feel that somebody who's been suffering is coming to you either for advice uh, or to confess that they miss you. Somebody is ready to own up to their responsibilities. Or somebody's like ready to hold themselves accountable for something. Mm. I almost feel like somebody also had a taste of their own medicine. And they're like, okay, I get it now. Like, I'm sorry. I feel like something also may have backfired if somebody was trying to seek like revenge on an another person. Whoever did it, I feel like it backfired. Something is feeling like permission is needed to move about. Um, someone might be on uh, some sort of probation, uh, whether it is from jail or something career related. I feel like somebody is on probation. I also feel that if you submitted some sort of documents to receive some some sort of um, certificate or you know something you need, I feel like either something is on hold, like an application might be on hold uh, until further notice, or something is being requested. Um, I wouldn't say something is a no. It just seems like something might be on hold or still being reviewed. It could just be fear of being uh, denied something, but it's like, that's not what it is. It's just like something's under review until everything checks out. Um... You might find yourself wanting to uh, self-isolate. Mm. Okay, I feel like somebody is trying uh, to restrain themselves somebody is holding back they're like I need to stay away from this uh, for my health um, or this is a holy month so I need to refrain from this um, I know it's Ramadan it also could be I don't know when Lent is but you know maybe something's going on where somebody feels like they need to uh, retreat to isolate and, and study and behave. I feel like somebody's trying to meditate and have like these um, peaceful thoughts and they keep being inserted with dirty thoughts. Somebody's like, they're meditating, they're trying to clear their mind, they're like, Please let me get rid of these thoughts. And then they are like, like, uh, 
assaulted with these um, desires. They they just like come and invade your private space. Now, spiritually, it kind of feels like somebody has been remote viewing you, but they know it's bad or they know they shouldn't be doing it. So they're trying to stop, but they are kind of like addicted to doing this. I also feel that somebody might experience something in their dreams um, that is really intense. Um, for somebody, it, it could potentially be like attacked, um, but in, you know, like a spiritual sexual assault. Yeah, you might need to, you know, cleanse your your space or protect yourself before you go to sleep. Um, somebody also might experience um, sleep paralysis. Uh, someone feels spiritually obligated to you um, or indebted to you, even if they don't understand it in a spiritual sense. Someone just feels like they can't rest until they, they've pleased you or until that you've forgiven them. Somebody is still beating themselves up for something that they did to you and they can't stop trying to make it up to you. Like it, it they can't stop. They're obsessed with making amends with you, especially if it was a fire sign. Um, Hmm. I'm seeing some sort of hidden communication. Someone is disguising. They're disguising the situation or themselves. To hear, to hear from you, communicate with you. Like somebody might be calling you from an anonymous number uh, just to hear you say hello, just to hear your voicemail. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to get your attention, but it's camouflaged. They're, they're in your life some way and you're responding to them mm. hmm. or someone is just making excuses to interact with you mm -hmm. um yeah I feel like you also keep seeing someone's name or hearing their name, um, I don't know, through TV or 
something it just feels like the universe keeps trying to show you something about this person Also, oddly getting the vision of someone bringing you a bouquet of flowers or sending you flowers. Mm. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, the movie She's Gotta Have It or even like the series because the the guy that played um, the or the character Mars uh, was pretty much similar in both the movie and the series. But um, I'm getting the character Mars, how he just kept saying something repeatedly. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? You you say, forgive me. You forgive. He kept he was like it, that was like his little thing, and she would be like yes yes, and she kept like laughing and like blowing him off. But that's. That's the way he was. He would just like keep saying something over and over again. And I kind of feel like you could be dealing with something similar to that. I don't know if the person kind of acts like that or if that's just like what they're, you know, saying over and over. Like, do you forgive me or, you know, so, I don't know. I just kind of feel like somebody is really trying to um, appease you because they just feel overly guilty. They really blame themselves for something. They might be worried about something coming back to bite them, um, you know, in a butt someday or something is, they're worried. Somebody feels like they messed up. They're like, I messed up. Even if somebody got another person involved in a situation and that person that they got involved with got hurt or something bad and that person was related to you I feel like they just feel like that's their fault they're like yeah I got their friend in trouble I got their brother in trouble like so, you know they feel really bad about it um as for you so going back to something you're needing to do, I feel like you need to challenge yourself and do something out of the box, out of the ordinary. And this is going to help you heal. This is going to restore some sort of balance into your life. But you've got to get out and do it. Um, it's something that you don't really want to do or you're hesitant or you have your suspicions. Um, but I feel like you're needing to do this. I feel like you're really comfortable, but you've got to come out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Something that you need to do. Especially if it has to do with making money or career. Is something that you've got to do to become uncomfortable so that you can you know feel a sense of balance again um, I mean it could be about other things it could be about you putting yourself out there to love again kind of looks like that too like if you've been isolated too long um, like if you but you really want a relationship you're gonna have to do something uh, outside of your box to to get the ball rolling Also, let's say, for instance, somebody has been injured, like someone um, injured their ankle or something like that. And it's like now the cast is removed and it's like, OK, you got to walk without the crutches now or you don't have no more cast. And it's like, oh, I'm scared. What if I do it again? But I feel like you have to do something. Mm. 
I feel like you are almost at the end of your ropes with something. You're coming to some sort of ending or closure. For some of you, this is about moving away, like packing your bags and leaving. Or somebody is coming to live with you because they have no place else to go. You're their last resort and you don't want it, but they're they're on the way. Um, someone can't keep hiding or keep up with the charades. Um, it's just overwhelming. I feel like somebody is sick and tired of performing. Hmm. I almost feel like somebody is like shaking because they've been holding something for so long and it's like their arms are shaking and they're just like about to just drop everything. It's just like too much. Could be that somebody's getting ready to have some sort of uh, emotional or mental breakdown. Hmm. Yeah, I would say there's a strong possibility that there's going to be a move either on your end or somebody coming towards you. All right, let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you have adjacent possibilities. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Journey. Overall energy. Door to spirit. Um, okay, so it does look like there is this opportunity opening up. And it's like, hey, like, it's now or never. It might be multiple opportunities. Um... And whatever the case, I feel that this is a test of faith. It's a test of your will. Um, it's time for you to use your will. Time for you to use your feet and get up and move and do something. Um, and again, journey, this person has their bags and everything. So it does look like... Somebody has to get out and move. Somebody has to move forward. Um, hmm. Again, it could be that somebody is coming towards you. Something seems like opportunity to prove yourself. Hmm. I feel that, you know, there's also been some sort of an imbalance because you have some lack of security um, or you're having a hard time with your footing. Like maybe it feels like you're trying to stay balanced in, you know, in quicksand or something and something is happening to restore your balance uh, or give you a sense of security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like if there is some opportunity for you to leave, like you have to do it. Hmm. 
I feel like spirit is trying to to guide you or is like shining the light on your path. It's like here is your path like we lit it up for you. So all you have to do is walk through it. So I don't know, it just seems like something opens up to you and the universe is like, come on, you can do it. Hmm. Yeah, now, I mean, it could also be something metaphysical, like, you know, you having an opportunity to fly or travel in your dreams, and, but you got to let go. You just, um, you know, have to be free enough to do it and trust that you're not going to fall. Could be something like that, too. But yeah, get ready is, is basically what I'm getting. So hopefully these messages help. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.